Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome and all to Afterbirth, and I'm, against my better judgement, going to take Eve out for another run around the basement. I may even let her off the lead and let her run around the field to her own volition, but we'll see if I'm feeling a little bit kind. You gotta be firm with your slaves. Get back down there! We'll cut that out. We will, um, we'll cut that out because... 59 tr trainees of patience turned nine jiggles. They were being trained in how to be patient, but as it turned out, they just jiggled. I never thought I would be so happy in my life to have a bursting sack as I am right now. We are in the cellar and spiders are no longer going to hurt me. <gasps> this is... I, I... I never... I... I'm speechless. I... And I'm not often speechless. You guys know that I'm not often speechless, but... I actually... am okay. Look! I... I don't need to worry about spiders! I'll call this one Pete! I'll call this one Kevin! Die, Kevin! I'll call this one Sally! Sally doesn't deserve to live! And this one could be Eric. Eric's gone to spider hell. It's okay, Pete. It's okay. Shush now. Shush. It's all all right. It's all all right. That's so good. I I mean, it's such a useless item, in fairness. But it's so funny to just have spiders completely ignore you. They're normally such completely irritating, anger-inducing, skitty bastards. Yeah, I'm calling them skitty bastards. Not the Pokemon. That would just be sad. Skitty's an adorable Pokemon. But as I'm trying to say, I hate spiders. I do. I'm not a fan. I definitely wouldn't wave a giant foam finger in the name of spiders. I just couldn't see myself doing that. Though I do love dingle dangles. I could definitely wave a dingle dangle finger. That actually sounds really terrible. Also, why is this cellar so terrible? Seriously, an L shape and then two massive rooms? Are you crazy? Are you absolutely crazy? I mean, I'm trying not to go whore too early because you don't want to accidentally uh, end up as a whore too quickly because you might come to regret that. Hey, accidental pun is the best. No, I'm not going to explain it. You can get lost. One dingle dangle stands and remains. I mean, thinking about it, the amount of species of various things that would be marvels to modern science that we just endlessly slaughter and crush through an Isaac run, through all of them, it would be very cool to have kind of a in-game beastery that comes with statistics. So you like go to the spider page, tells you a bit about them, and then it tells you how many that you've killed, and that would be pretty cool. I'd like to, you know, I'd get definite happiness if it's ever sad one day. I'd just open Isaac, go to the spiders, and just see how many of them I've made cease to exist, and kind of just smile to myself and be like, I've done good. I've made the world a better place. No, genuinely speaking, all right, if I had the choice to remove all spiders from the world, I would say no, because, you know, irrelevant of my own feelings towards them, they're not inherently bad creatures, and a lot of ecosystems would completely collapse without the spider. It's uh, it's not even worth thinking about. It, 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 to be fair, it's surprising, but the results of every single arachnid in the world disappearing would be nothing short of catastrophic. It really would. The amount of impact they have just in homes, the amount of other insects we'd be infested with without spiders, it's really quite something. So, genuinely speaking... I nearly died, because this just simply will not die. Like, what was wrong with that freaking meat? It would just straight up not die. I mean, I'm not going to be too sad. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't like dying early on a run and having to start again. I don't. I feel like it feels cheap, but... I also, at the same time, wouldn't be too horrendously sad if it happened here because I would kind of like a better starting item. I'd also love a bomb. Can I get a bomb? No, no bombs for me. Hey, hey guys, how y'all doing? My name's Eve and I'll be your guide for this evening. Where are we going? Hell. 
And bomb. Oh, come on. Come on now. Well, I guess as long as we don't get a particularly annoying boss, we're going to be fine. And the Duke of Flies is definitely something I would consider not annoying. Now, if he could just drop the matchbook as his boss drop, I would be very, very pleased. That is kind of the ideal in this situation. I don't really think there is something even competing with it. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't be sad if it was Magic Mushroom. You know, I guess I will say that. Eight ball, kind of, all right, please be the tower. The chariot, still kind of fine, but I guess that's just it. We're not allowed a bomb on this floor. I don't have the money to get a bomb. Just disappointment all round, really. Much like my last party. Hey, hey. oh, God. No one likes me. No one likes me. <laughs> I think we can handle a basement floor without accidentally taking damage. Famous last words very nearly struck there, but I mean, eventually we're going to have some... Oh, God. Oh, God. Actually, no, this is fine because the spiders aren't an issue. No, you killed my friendly spiders. They were just going to try their best to help. And there we go. All right, maybe I'm underestimating a bursting sack. Maybe I really am underestimating a bursting sack. There's actually quite a lot of situations that do involve spiders as filler enemies, and having to just genuinely not worry about them at all is kind of really, really good. I'm kind of liking that. Strength is probably worth keeping, I would say. Hey, there we go. Yeah, we lose the Horror of Babylon, but I think we can handle that. I kind of want to buy the Spirit Heart, but at the same time, I'm not too worried. I think... No, no, I'm, I'm going to keep Strength. The reason I'm going to keep Strength is for Devil Deals, but I want to go Mega Satan. So actually, I should keep the Chariot. I didn't think that through initially, but I mean, I don't know I want to go Mega Satan. I might just end up giving up and... Uh, going devil deals if the angel path seems to just be making me incredibly weak. I don't know. The thing with Eve is obviously she benefits so, so, so much from devil deals because taking away her health just simply makes her stronger. And for some reason, my Eve runs have a habit of making her the healthiest Eve in the world. And it's just really upsetting. Uh, I think we'll bomb through there just in case we get a guppy item. Definitely worth the punt. Or even some spirit hearts would be great. I guess flies are all right. Could be a lot worse. Okay, is this going to be a bomb run? I mean, I'd be happy if we got Dr. Fetus after this and had some ridiculously awesome bomb synergy. It definitely might happen. And we got Little Horn. We can use our bombs on Little Horn quite nicely. Stop trying to put me in a dark hole. Jesus! I'm not even in Horror of Babylon, mate. All right, let's uh, bust that. Oh, well, oh, come on. It didn't even freaking hit him, did the final tier. That sucks. That was going to be such an awesome, awesome hit with that bomb, and I didn't even get to enjoy it. That's just the worst. And now he's going to teleport all over the room and then kill himself. Ha! <laughs> and Rum's Pearls is aight. Oh, good. Book of Sin. I do like it when I want to ignore devil deals, and the devil deal turns out to just be terrible. Well, we've got the item room, we've got the shop, we're kind of ready to move on, honestly. I mean, it's going fine. We have a lot of potential in poison and tier bombs, we really do. Curse of the Blind kind of sucks, but at this stage, it's not a real issue. We're still just gonna basically pick up all of the items. This should end up back towards me. Yeah! Bomb physics! Woo! We'll grab that spirit heart, of course, because why the hell not? And we even got a freaking secret room. That's kind of nice. What's in here? A black heart. Lovely! I mean, as much as I'd like to take away my red hearts, I don't know if the razor blade counts as damage that takes away devil slash angel deals. That's the only reason I've not been using it, in case you are wondering. And you were probably wondering. I know what you're like. We don't want to go in that shop. We just don't have enough money. I only checked last time in case there was something ridiculous as we just got bombs. And vom, and vom, and vom, and vom, and vom, and vom. Of course, all of you do know that vom is the classic noise for dodging tears in a statue-based obstacle course. I mean, that happens across all of the TV shows. I'm pretty sure in Total Wipeout, the announcer just goes, vom, vom, ah, vom, every time something happens. And then the producers are like, why did we hire him? Why did we? I mean, yeah, I know he's trying to have a nice special day being an announcer, but... I mean, the audience is just not a fan of constant vomps, and, uh, you know, it's grating me as well. 
and I don't like being grated. Not even like a fine cheese, just, just, I just don't like being grated. And of course, that was tactical damage, you know, clear that room of bonies, you know, just seemed like the, the best thing to do there. The virus, yeah, woohoo, poison touch, god, I am happy about that. And yes, I am, of course, going to chariot this room. I don't want to even have to think about killing an entire Envy with base damage. That thought just sends me to, well, sends me to dark places. And I don't want to return to those dark places. They're scary, and my therapist said that I'd never have to go to them again. A single coin. A single coin for my efforts. Just, just wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. That was, uh quite kind of extreme actually that was that was very very extreme why aren't you dead please die there we go this has got some range on it does this nub oh my god look at how little damage we're doing look at this just look at this the amount of tears that nub needed to die oh no oh god oh that's just so bad why can we even move them along the floor that's what i don't understand doesn't even seem feasible at this stage Okay, dokie. Come on. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly, but surely. Emphasis, of course, on the word slowly here. I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to lose some health soon. I mean, obviously, I'll do it after the boss, and uh, when we've already had an angel slash devil deal. In fact, it'll be devil deal, won't it? Because we've only had one of them. I'm doing a very bad job of finding the boss, that I will tell you, but it's okay. I believe in myself. A big part of me is tempted to actually take tactical damage in this room. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm very much wanting that to happen at this point. But I can't in good conscience deliberately waste health. And, you know, what, whatever you might think, I don't like to deliberately waste health. In fact, what I'm going to do is simply kill them all with a bomb. Uh, it just makes too much sense. Because otherwise... I'm going to be here for a fair amount of time. I'm not even going to tease myself by opening them. I'm just not going to do it. All right, there you go. That should do a fairly nice amount of uh, damage to you. And then charge over here if you want. No? Okay, we're just gonna we're just going to do that. That's fine. I, I guess I, I didn't need you to do that. There we go. And once more, just the best way to get rid of good. Otherwise, it's just very irritating. Torn Photo, however, is lovely. And now we'll use that. Activate Horror of Babylon. That's great. So, we've got kind of a lot of tears and an okay amount of damage now that we've hoard it up. But we just have to remember not to pick up red hearts accidentally. Now, I do tend to have a nasty habit of picking up red hearts accidentally. I, I tend to be pretty good at that. So, hopefully we'll try and avoid that habit. Well, that was one of the most disappointing series of chests I think I've ever seen, ever. That was just, oh, and then we gotta kill a mega fatty. Then we have to kill a mega fatty. That is just, just the worst. I mean, hopefully, we can get a little bit of bomb action on him. We've got a few of them, but it's just killing him so slowly. It's just killing him so slowly. Look at this. Just the worst. I'm just trying to keep moving so I don't get jumped on, but... Oh, man, that is... Oh, Megamore! All right, that's fine. That's fine. Nobody nobody panic about that. He'll actually die fairly quickly. We should only have to dodge, uh, I'd say, three lots of fire. I'm going to go with three lots of fire. All right, is my prediction going to be correct? Will we have to dodge three lots of fire? Oh, no, actually, only two lots of fire. Fair enough. He's, for some reason, decided that loads of useless minions were the better idea. I'm not a fan of having Curse of the... I don't know where I am. You know, that does seem upsetting. Though, presumably, in order to have a map of the place, whoever you're playing as, the Isaacinian in question, does have... Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, that's the new pill. That's not Amnesia. What is... I still don't know what that even freaking does, but I guess we'll find out. But, yeah, it does... Surely they just have a piece of paper that they're writing down the map of the floor on. So, how does the amnesia even work? Surely they just have to look at the... God damn it, I don't want the safety cap. I just... I just don't. Surely they can just look back at their map and then remember again. I've got a feeling about this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Got a feeling. Got a fe Ah, why am I feeling so terrible? <laughs> why am I feeling so terrible? They're just the worst. <laughs> the worst I... Wait, whoa, 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 Did I just get Curse of the Mazed? That's... That's what happened there, right? I just got Curse of the Mazed. Like, that's... That is what happened. I'm gonna keep going through... Yes, that is what's happening! Does that mean that 
pill? The question mark, question mark pill is a curse of the maze pill? In which case, that is awful. Like, I mean, I like it from a design standpoint, but that is brutal. I mean, Curse of the Maze generally isn't that bad. It's mostly a minor inconvenience, but the fact that you can inflict it upon yourself with a pill, that's quite a big deal, actually. That's... So I wonder if there's other curse pills. Like, that's quite serious. Well, I guess I'll take you, you know, bum friend, I guess. Why not? We'll, we'll see what we can do. What do you have? Just some flies. I mean, that was... That was very useful. Oh no, we got a spirit hat, that's okay, so we didn't really lose that much going in, but I can't believe that. A freaking Curse of the Maze pill, that's quite severe. Where is our boss? Ah, here's our boss. How very convenient. And then this is totally going to have an angel deal. I completely believe in this one's ability to have an angel deal right here. Well, it's the Fallen, so at least we get a devil deal item. Hopefully, it will be Abaddon. You know, Abaddon, of course, is just baller on Eve. In fact, I don't think you could really think of a better all-round quality item to have on Eve than Abaddon, because it activates her Horror of Babylon pretty much permanently from this point on, and then also just gives her a good old round boost to just kind of everything. And, well, the Pact is also still completely fine. The damage in the tears is great, though no freaking Devil or Angel deal. So it's not even like I have to make a choice at this point. I'm kind of just getting forced into it. Oh, yeah, guys. Do you want me to start doing more frequent daily ones? And by more frequent, I mean more than literally the one that I did. I don't know when it first started with the dailies. I was like, I'm not that much of a fan of them. I don't know. I'm kind of eh. But I don't know. Now that I've seen a few more, I'm kind of on the fence. So I think I might start doing them. Now that we're doing greed modes less often, because we've already unlocked basically every single greed mode item. At least I believe I have, unless there's ones that I don't know about. I think I might start doing a more frequent amount of dailies. I think it might just uh, make sense, you know? I think, I think that'd be okay, but obviously, let me know. May as well do that. We're getting a replacement bomb anywhere, and I value the key more than the bomb. But maybe I should value the bomb more when we are, oh my god, when we are rocking uh, tier bombs, which are, of course, fantastic. Come on! Give me something good! I, uh, do you know what something good is, game? Are you aware of, uh, what something good actually is, because there's a part of me that's thinking that maybe you're not aware. See, I want to pick up the... I've got to ignore the devil deal. I do. I've got to ignore it. Please don't be cursed, I. All right, Guppy's tail. Absolutely fine. I was a bit apprehensive, because a lot of the time I tend to pick up a blind cursed eye and regret everything. Though I have heard that apparently Black Candle does remove the negative aspect of cursed eye. I still don't think it makes it a particularly great item, because, I mean, it's still not inherently a damage increase. It just lets you stack up shots, so I'm not entirely sure on that front, but... It is nice to know you can, at the very least, get around the awful, awful side effects of it. There's no real point us going into the shop at this stage. We've only got six money. That kind of sucks. I was ignoring the spiders and trying to focus on the bonies, because obviously the spiders aren't going to do anything to me, but they were physically blocking me, which then meant the bonies had a really wonderful time hitting me with their bones. So I feel like that might have been a double-edged sword at that point. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. This one's totally gone though, right? No, how did he even manage that? I am very upset. There we go. I do need some more spirit heartage though. I really do. I mean, there's no way to look at it other than this run is a, well, let's just say a pretty weak run. I think we can all agree that so far I've not been offered a great many things. And Actually, if I do get offered the Devil Deal again, I think I am going to pot shot both Devil Deals. Because I'd rather, you know, complete the run in some sort of acceptable fashion than kind of flail around and burn out and die. But I was still... I don't know. I mean, should I resolutely stick... I love Lazy Worm! Lazy Worm, so good. Look at that. We've now got more of a beam. Oh, Lazy Worm. I'm such a fan of Lazy Worm. I, I, I wish I could be Lazy Worm. I wish I could live to the code of the Lazy Worm. I mean, just look at him. He's just brilliant. Oh, I don't know whether to stick with my conviction and try and get the Angels and Mega Satan or accept the Devil Deal. I really, really don't know. Ow! That hurts. I can't believe you would do that. I really, really can't believe that he would do that. 
So I'm actually genuinely concerned that I'm going to... Oh god, oh god, calm down, calm down, it's fine, it's fine. I am genuinely concerned that I am going to die here. Oh, yep! Yeah. Just as I was saying! Oh, that sucks. That sucks so hard. I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that happened. I thought it would be blown downwards, not upwards. Damn you, basic geometry. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so, so hard. That's such a lame way to die die, but I don't feel bad. I mean, I didn't play that horribly this run at all, to be honest. I just didn't get anything even remotely worth having. Well, no, I guess Torn Photo Unpacked. You know, I'll accept Torn Photo Unpacked. In fact, you know what? I can't do it. I just can't leave you with an anticlimactic 20 minutes. <laughs> majority, self. Majority, you must activate majority. It is re- Ow, ow, my face. Stop it. Well, I guess that was, of course, technical damage to activate Horror of Babylon for the very vexing nine jewel parentheses Zulu high twos. They're a very specific type of Zulu warrior. That's, uh, that's what you got to understand. Very very specific. All right, well, that's an okay item. It's, you know, it's a fine item. It's an all right-ish, it's an average. Well, it's kind of bad. No, it's okay, but, 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 I think we can do better. I think we can definitely do better. So I'm going to at least see if there is some sort of bombs or money that I can acquire on this first floor that will result in more glory than the room-based bloody lust. Because we do get to a lot of damage when it's fully stacked up. That is certainly true. But I also think there's... Uh, I don't know. If it was actual bloody lust, I definitely would have taken it straight away. But... In its current state, mm. though, I also think I don't need to deliberate that much over the starting item. I think I'm probably overdoing it just a tad, and it looks like we might just be committed anyway. I think I'm going to at least kill the boss just in case of... Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, I... Well, uh, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to give it a re-roll. I'm going to roll the dice. Talking of rolling the dice, I think we can safely say that uh, the D6 is a better item overall than the uh, Razor Blade. You know, I don't know what's making me say that, what's making me think that, but I think that is definitely something that I would agree with myself, so I'm going for that. Was he just, like, systematically killing all the fires in the room? I mean, that is, that's quite tactical, little horn. I'm, I mean, I'm almost impressed with you. Almost, of course. You know, I'd never be actually impressed at you. No one's not going, no one's going to love you, little horn. I mean, if your parents don't, then really, I don't think you could expect anyone else to. <laughs> oh, the puns of the century all up in here. I mean, this is worth taking. The tears up is fine. It's just a little bit annoying, of course, but I can still definitely deal here. So the real question is, do I want to take Tiny Planet? And I think the answer to this question is, when in Rome, do as the Isaacinians do and gain the power of a small star, which is actually quite ridiculous now that I think about it, but still, let's go for it, you know? Let's go for it. This is definitely a bad decision. I completely agree. This is an awful, awful decision I'm making. But, you know, I'm okay with two just train wreck runs in a row. Because that first one, I don't, you know, normally a lot of the time when I die, I'm like, Oh, that was so stupid of me. I'm a moron. I played terribly. I wasted health. I didn't do the correct thing. And then I died. And what did I expect? But there were a few mistakes. But there's always a few mistakes on everyone. But generally speaking, I think my last run was just, was just doomed to failure. So I'm okay with it. But as I said, I want some more. I want some more. I'm itching for a little bit of extra, you know. Just a little bit of extra. And that's what I'm going to go for. That is definitely what I'm going to go for. So we'll smash up all of these flies. That is absolutely A-OK. -okay. And whoa, calm down. Calm down. We're all OK. Nobody panic. We're all fine. Hey, calm it. Calm it, lad. I still want to get to the angel and devil deals. 
I really, really do. Because obviously I do, you know, it's what I'm here for. So I am basically just kind of banking on us finding items that turn this synergy into something actually fantastic. I know you're supposed to face away from what you want to kill with Tiny Planet, so I suppose I should start doing that a little bit more. And awesome, now we are talking. We can get ourselves a Tinted Rock, and two Spirit Hearts is just lovely. Though, it does raise the question, do I want to go haw before picking them up? Because I kind of do. Let's see what's in here. Experimental treatment might actually take us down to health, so I'm going to go for this. It didn't really do anything there, actually. That was, that was terrible. Ah, I'm so conflicted. I'm so confused. Obviously, I want those spirit hearts. Is activating haw now worth lowering my chance at the boss? having a devil slash angel deal. I'm just not sure. And yeah, obviously I could have re-rolled experimental treatment, but I was hoping it would somehow rob me of enough health to solve my problem for me while giving me loads of damage and tears. But as is usual with experimental treatment, all it inherently did was backfire completely. But we do have a battery in 2d6s, so that gives us a... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Because, I mean, I've only really got the boss drop to re-roll at this point. But boss dross, drosses, boss drosses can obviously be very good. And the more tiers that we get, the less terrible tiny planet's going to be for us. And I think, really, this is the run of... We just need it to be the least terrible it can be. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. Just the least amount of terrible. And here's our boss. I should, in theory, kill all the dangles by just standing here. I'm going to see if it holds true. I'm going to stand in the ruins of the poop and see if I can't kill them all. Ooh, that one's a little bit too close to me, but there we go. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Just two left, wandering the last dangle, the last dangle, and there it goes. Ooh, Ragman. Na 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 na. Ragman is quite an annoying boss at the best of times. And now that I've got Tiny Planet, I really don't see that changing. This is probably going to be difficult. I think we are going to have Horror of Babylon activate in this fight just because he's going to be alive for so long that, I mean, he's likely to hit me. And actually, we got very, very lucky with his. All right. Oh, I wanted to bomb both of them. I mean, I did, which was excellent, but it did cost me a heart, so that does suck. But at least now we're doing actual damage with actual tears, so I suppose the trade-off is worth it, but that is very, very lame. All right. Well, I definitely don't need to re-roll toothpicks. The more tears we can get, obviously, the best, so that's fine. So I guess we'll just go back, grab those spirit hearts, and then move on. And we're in a much stronger position for the next floor, and that's that's really the main deal. Though while we have these uh, batteries, maybe it's worth trying to find a trap room or a devil deal. Oh, yeah, or a devil deal room. Wow. This is going to be... Oh my god, I cannot believe that just happened. We don't have to waste the freaking D6 charges. That is so wonderful. Blood right, you can get lost. That's kind of tempting. I mean, yeah, go on then. We'll have Tiny Planet with Boomerang Tears and see whatever the hell they start to... Oh, okay. So they kind of all form this very slow, weird... That's interesting. Let's, let's do it in an actual room and see what that ends up looking like. So they're just going to all sort of coalesce at the front and kind of hover there in a wall of death. That's actually a really nice synergy because I can just walk that wall of death into an enemy and then completely destroy them. And I do love completely destroying my enemies. It's one of my favorite pastimes, honestly. So I'm... I'm liking this run. I think we actually have a lot of uh, opportunities for glory here. And again, I'm a fan of glory. I mean, I'm not like a literal fan. I'm not just sat here wafting people. I, you know, don't call me Mr. Wafter. That sounds very bad. Although I guess it could be like an advertisement. Mr. Wafter's fans for all of your cooling needs. And so on and so forth. Okay. So they're just kind of hovering into there. So they're sort of... They don't really know what they're doing. So if I move while having this effect, they kind of just hover a little bit. Ow! Seriously? 
I hate Tiny Planet. You know, I do. And, you know, you may be thinking now, well, why did you pick it up then, Rage? If you hate the item, how about, and this is a crazy suggestion I know, but how about you just don't pick the item up? Well, because I thought it would go better than this is really... Seriously? Seriously. God, I hate these worms. I hate these worms so much. Because you never know when they're going to die. So you don't know if you need to dodge their charge or if you need to dodge their tears. Which I also fully accept is the entire purpose and design choice for the enemies in question. But still. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I did want to nearly kill myself with my own explosive diarrhea. That's it's a great pastime of mine. Oh my god, please just kill them. I don't want to die. I'm going to have to lose the hop just because it's not worth being one hit away from death. I mean, it still shouldn't be too bad. This room is absolutely awful, and I'm not going to have any part of it. Uh, the amount of time it would take me to tiny planet down that room, I could probably build a house in that time. And let me tell you, I don't know how to build a house. I mean, yes, I have experience as a builder, but I don't think that qualifies you for building a house. Still, though, I am very happy we're getting to experience a neat little synergy such as this. Oh, God, I don't have a bomb. I don't have a bomb. Oh, no, please die. Please die. Oh, no. Oh, no, just don't. I just, just, oh, God, this is terrible. This is terrible. This is the worst thing in the world. And there we go. There's the damage that I've got to take. And this room is just horrific. There's only one left. There's only one left. We can deal with one, right? One's not a problem. We don't care about one. One's fine. One's, one's, one's completely fine. This is okay. Our dead bird's got this, right? Okay. All right. Item room at any point. If you could show up, that would be obviously excellent. You know, that would be fantastic. Maybe give us some sort of savior in this dark, dark time that we're currently in. Okay, I, yeah, this is just so dangerous. Every part of this is just so dangerous, and I'm just not allowed health. And obviously, it, it's not made better by the fact that I have to deal with uh, not being able to see the floor map, so I can't even make any simple tactical decisions as to where would be the best place to go. But at least we get to test out our wall of damage. So that kind of worked out nicely. Just just kind of please, please come near me, Ningle Dangle. I actually just, I'm just so scared. I am just so, so, so scared. Of course, I find the boss room guarded by the world's most hyperactive zombies. Ooh, gotta go fast, got to go fast, got to go fast, got to, got to go fast. Kill them all while I can. <laughs> Kill them all while I can. <laughs> this is... I, I don't have a bomb. I was about to rejoice at the spit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, well, at least we found the item room. So we got that going for us. That's, um, holy shit. Uh, 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 oh, my God. Holy hell. You can't tell me I'm not at least trying my bloody dandest to stay alive here. You can't tell me that. There's none left. All right, item, please. Great. Great, the virus. Should have re-rolled that, actually. Forgot I had the D6. I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be completely transparent with you. I'll be, I'll be a glass window. I may have forgot in my intense panic to not die. I may have forgot I own the D6, so we'll we'll try not to talk about that. We'll um, try not to talk about that. It's absolutely fine. It's um, obviously, obviously, you know, it was a tactical decision to not use the D6 there, so I could then find Guppy's Fly Hive and re-roll it, obviously, into the mind, which is an incredibly useful item to have. That's actually what I was doing there, and if you don't believe me, then, quite frankly, I find your lack of faith disturbing. I really do. Obviously, that's what I was thinking. I've got that tactical decision-making going on. <laughs> I don't want to die again. Why, every time I find health, must I immediately lose it to something like that? Why does that happen? 
I mean, at least we got more tears, so that's going nice. You know, that's that's great. That's great. I just, oh god, oh god, this run. Oh my word, this run. I need to clear one single. I don't even need to clear. Oh no, I don't have a bomb. I don't have a bomb. I don't have a. Oh god. Oh, yep, there it is. I just don't know what to say to you guys. I just don't. It's like that first run took everything out of me, and then we just had the most flailingly terrible experience I've ever seen. Well, I guess everyone can't be good, can it? <laughs> oh, man. I'm so sorry. Let me know about daily runs, and... I don't know, Eve's become my character that just refuses to have a good run. I really feel like that's the case, but I can break through this barrier. I can do it. And I guess the important thing is, I had a lot of fun. My name's been Rage. I like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. A good boy. You